Hello gamers, my name is C Dude Gamer and welcome to a Z Battle for Zendikar booster pack opening. Let's just crack right in. Open this thing up. Why do I always take so long to open a booster pack? This is why I'm terrible at drafting. Alright, let's see what we got. Starting with... Give me a second here. An Oran Reef Invoker. Human Shaman, one and a green for a 2-2. Two, two. You can pay 8 to give it plus 5, plus 5, and trample until end of turn. I always forget about the trample on this guy. Girl, I'm not sure. Moving on, we've got a Brilliant Spectrum, a Converge card. Uh, 3 and a blue to draw X cards, where X is the number of colours of mana spent to cast Brilliant Spectrum. You then discard 2 cards. Uh, it is Sorcery Speed. Nokana Assassin, one of the lifelink or life gain triggers. Uh, two and a black for a vampire assassin ally. Whenever you gain life, it gains death touch until end of turn. It, it's, it can work pretty well if you've got some of the life gain stuff. Uh, Boiling Earth is our next card. One and a red for a sorcery to deal one damage to each creature your opponents control. You can also cast it for its awakened cost of six and a red. Seven mana to deal one damage to each creature your opponents control and one of your lands gets four plus one plus one counters. And then we have McKindy Patrol, one of my favorite allies from the set when we're talking about limited at least. Uh, he is two and a white for a human knight ally. And whenever he or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control gain vigilance. Always fun. Next up, the Eyeless Watcher. Three and a green for a one one. Okay, what else you got? Uh, when he enters the battlefield, you get two Eldrazi Scions. So you're getting three dudes for the price of one. It's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, works a lot better in the Devoid deck, so. Uh, Rush's Rush of Ice, a single blue mana for a sorcery to tap target creature, and it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. You can awaken it for four and a blue, and you get three plus one plus one counters on a land. Oh, okay. Next up, Silent Skimmer, 3 and a black for a 0-4 with flying. Whenever it attacks, the defending player loses 2 life. It is an Eldrazi, so it has Devoid. Next up, one of the spell lands, Mortuary Maya, enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters, you may put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. It'll work in pretty much any deck with creatures. You don't have to be playing black for this to work. Uh, this should be the last of the commons, if I'm not mistaken. Natural Connection. Uh, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. For instant speed. It's not, not terrible. Ah, yep, I was right, we're on to uncommons now. Starting with the Forerunner of Slaughter. A black and a red for an Eldrazi drone. Uh, it is a 3-2, so 2 mana 3-2, not bad. You can pay 1 to give a colorless creature haste until end of turn. Alright, that's not bad. Moving on. We have the Fire Mantle Mage. Hey, I don't think I've actually got this guy yet. So, here's another ally. He's two and a red for a human shaman ally. Whenever he or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control gain menace until end of turn. Uh, creatures with menace can't be locked except by two or more creatures. He can be pretty darn good. He gives a lot of your dudes evasion. It's rather nice. So they can't just chump your 1-1s with a single 1-1, one, one, they're going to have to go with 2. Moving on, we have a Deathless Behemoth. 6 mana for a 6-6 six, six with Vigilance. It is an Eldrazi. You can sacrifice 2 Scions to return Deathless Behemoth from your graveyard to your hand, but only any time you could cast a sorcery. So no end of the turn, get your dude back in your hand tricks. You blue players, you know who I'm talking about. Alright, ah, we have our rare. The Guldra's Overseer. 4 black black for a vampire with flying. 3-4. Landfall. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, other creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. And if that lands a swamp, those creatures get plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn instead. Alright, let's see, what do we got for our land? We have the Bucket Land from Vincent Preuss. And hey, an Omnath token. Always good times. Alright, that is a Battle for Zendikar booster pack opening. But that's not all I've got for you today. Actually, let's separate the rare out there. 
Uh, this stuff can go here because I have a second one. That's right, two boosters for the price of one video. Let's crack right in. Uh, sorry for shaking the camera there. It's a very precarious setup at the moment. All right. Let's start this off with a giant mantis. Three and a green for a 2-4 with reach. Pretty good. That's It stops some flyers. Uh, another brilliant spectrum. I don't think I need to explain this anymore. Alter's Reap. One and a black for an instant. As an additional cost to cast it, sacrifice a creature and draw two cards. Call the Scions. Two and a green for a sorcery speed spell. To get two 1-1 one, one Eldrazi Scions onto the battlefield. Uh, Eldrazi Scions you can sacrifice to add one colorless to your mana pool. Another Boiling Earth, another McKindy Patrol, a Valakut Predator, two and a red for a 2-2, two -two. it is an elemental, uh, and whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Not bad, not bad. Oh. Alright, another one, Sheer Drop, two and a white for a sorcery, destroy target tapped creature, and you can awaken it for five and a white to get three plus one, plus one counters. Alright. A uh, Hedron Blade, Hedron Blade, however you want to say that. Uh, one colorless mana for an artifact uh, equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and whenever equipped creature becomes blocked by one or more colorless creatures, it gains death touch until end of turn. You equip it for two mana. Not bad. Uh, Valakut Invoker, one of my favorite dudes. Two and a red for a 2-3, uh, Human Shaman. And you can pay 8 to deal 3 damage to target creature or player. So if it gets to late game, and things often do in Battle for Zendikar, you can just start burning shit. It's pretty good. And you can do that at instant speed as well, so... Yeah. Ah, Plated Crusher. 4 green, green, green. Yes, that's 3 greens. For a 7-6 with Trample and Hexproof. He's pretty good, and that is the start of our uncommons. So, what do we have next? Crumble to Dust, 3 and a red, uh, to exile target non-basic land. You search its controls graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name as that land, and exile them. That player then shuffles his or her library. Ah, moving on, we have Horribly Awry, 1 and a blue for a Devoid spell. Counter target creature spell with converted mana cost 4 or less. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. And what's next should be our rare. Yes, we have Gruesome Slaughter. Six mana for a sorcery. Until end of turn, colorless creatures you control gain tap. This creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature. And what's our land? Hey, Noah Bradley Plains. A rather specky land. Do enjoy it. And our token is a 5-5 dragon. Oh man, so many good tokens today. I'm happy. I'm a big token fan. So... That's that's our haul. We've got Gruesome Slaughter and the Ghoul Draws Overseer, a Dragon Token, and a 5-5 five, five Red Green Elemental Token. Well, that's going to be it for me for today, so uh, next time I get some boosters that I can open with you people, I will do just that. So, my name is Cedar Gamer. hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.